Here's just a quick video on how to still downgrade Google Workspace back to the free edition for personal use, even in November of 2022, and probably through next year as well. You never know with Google, but this is a solution that I came up with that is still working well um, as of the time of this filming, which is November 11th, 2022. Basically, Google caused a lot of controversy earlier this year, and I think last year even, by announcing that they were going to phase out the free edition of Google Suite and force everyone to Google Workspace or Google Workspace Starter uh, beginning in the summer of this year. Then eventually they sort of backpedaled and gave people who were using it for personal use until June 27th to put an exception in to continue getting what they now call the free edition of Google Workspace. And if you missed that, basically you were left to feel like you were completely out of luck and they put some deadlines um, that anything after June 27th would be automatically upgraded. And then if you hadn't upgraded your billing by August 1st, then it would be suspended and you'd no longer have Google Suite. Now for me, this came, um, I had inherited Google Suite for a few personal domain names, uh, mainly for portfolio or email reasons. And that came along with the hosting services like 10 years ago or a very long time ago. So this was kind of um, unfortunate. And so I had kind of overlooked all of the deadlines and stuff, and then it was too late. But I figured out a solution, posted it on Reddit a few months back, and it got pretty um, well received with quite a bit of thanks and um, people interested in that guide. So I thought I'd just make a video companion and prove that it still works in November of 2022. So basically all you have to do is log into your admin account. Now you access that through admin.google.com. Make sure you're signing in using an administrator account, not your typical Gmail type account that you check emails. Uh, this should be a separate one. In most cases, it is admin at yourdomain.com. Once you're signed in, you will want to go to, I guess, first to verify your subscription. So if you go under billing and then you click on the subscriptions tab, you want to make sure to start this process that you are upgraded to either Google Workspace or Google Workspace Business Starter. Now, if your account has already been suspended, you'll actually want to re-engage it. And so you'll have to add or upgrade a subscription here and then fill out the information. Um, Google Workspace Business Starter is a good sort of first batch. And this is only a temporary thing to get your account reinstated to go to the next step. Once you go through the process and submit the payment details. You'll have to submit uh, some credit card information. And I'm not, I can't recall if they charge you right away or if it's a small little trial and then they charge you. But either way, it's something very momentary. So I think um, by default, if you go back to the dashboard, uh, it's set to start billing on December 1st for $12. Now, after you make that change, if you weren't already set to Google Workspace or Google Workspace um, Starter Edition, You'll want to wait usually a couple days after you make that switch to come back here and finish it up uh, just to make sure everything propagates and the subscriptions are all in sync here. And when you've done that, the next step when you're signed in and you verified that under subscriptions, it says active status or one of the premium accounts from there, what all you really have to do is you go up to um, you'll go up to the help button at the top here. And when that opens up, scroll down to contact support, click that. And then one of the options will be, I used G Suite Legacy Free Edition for personal use. If you click on that, and then it'll give you a sort of a rundown disclaimer that you agree that you're using this for personal use. And then you have to consent to that. And of course it also notes that everything is subject to change in the future as with any Google product. That's fine. We'll click I used G Suite Legacy free for personal use. You click that, that will open up a separate um, URL. And I'll paste this into the comments because sometimes if you're already logged in as an administrator, you can just go right to that URL at the top. But other times you need um, some session data stored first. So either way, once we're here, you'll see if you're using G Suite Legacy free account for non commercial purposes, you might be eligible for a new no cost subscription. When you're ready, you can click the confirm my account for personal use, click that option, and it'll take just a few moments. And once done, you will see, there you go. And now it pops up again, uh, Google Workspace, uh, 
seems like a second confirmation box. If you see that, you just click that one more time. There, now you can see it says your account already has the no cost option, which means it has taken effect just by doing that. Now, if we come back down to billing and click subscriptions, um, we will see, we still see Google Workspace uh, Starter Edition down here active with how many licenses available. But over here, you can now see it's on the free plan and the free edition, no charges. So now you know it's affected. And if you go to your payment accounts, you will see that um, it should say not in use because we no longer are actually using the payment for anything. So you won't be charged anymore and you can now continue using Google Suite for free for personal use. And that includes Google Docs, Gmail, and other associated um, prod programs and utilities. So I hope this was helpful. I'll probably write up a little blog up article on my website for this. And again, if you have any questions, let me know. But this should be a decent way, even after you've long missed your deadline, to revert back to the free version of Google Suite. And then you can continue enjoying it for personal use. Thanks. Bye.